All right, so I am logged into my Ingram Spark account. We're going to look over here on the left hand side of the menu. Check this out e commerce. Click on that. This is where we get to the place where you can share and sell your book. So check it out. Um, I do recommend going here if you have an Ingram Spark account. And they also have this awesome frequently asked questions. So I'm just going to give you a little overview, but um, I do suggest going there if you like. So step one, select a book. Step two, set prices and limitations. Step three, choose the format of your link. All right. So I think before I got started, I had to check off and agree to their terms of service. I've done that already, but you may have to do that. And then you can either view link history if you have something or click create a link if you are doing it brand new. So I am going to look here at my book from mess to message do, 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 and come over here and click on create link. This will pull up this little message right here. So you want to name your link. So especially if you end up doing unique links um, for different reasons, uh, super smart to name it. So I'm going to call this one. Um, let's pretend I'm having a book signing. Book signing um, April 6th. So um, that's a unique name for my link. And now check this out. Okay. <clears throat> Purchase price is right here, right? What Ingram Spark has done is they have added a little bit to the purchase price. So that way, you know, they get a little bit of the action as well. This means the purchase price is slightly higher than what you pay for for your author copy. But check this out. You can choose your compensation. So let's say I want to sell my book. My book sells for $15 currently on Amazon. But say for this unique event I'm um, doing on a uh, book signing, I want to price it at, um, let's do uh, $9. Oh, tells me over here what my compensation will be. And it always keeps down here your minimum purchase price. You can't go below that. Let's just do it just for kicks. $5, eh, eh, not going to let us do it, right? So let's go back and let's say it's going to be $9. Here's some interesting options. Do you want to limit the or the number of orders per link? You can either choose no, or let's say this is a special promotion and you only want to allow the first 20 people who purchase the book get it at this special rate. Uh -huh, you can choose that option. Here's another question. Do you want to limit the number of books per order? What if I'm like, huh, I want this special promotion, but I only want to allow people to purchase three books at the most. You can choose that option. Down here, you can also choose a date range. So if you don't want this to run into perpetuity, uh, let's say I want it to start on April 6th, but I'm like, you know, I might have a few, you know, slackers um, who don't come to the book signing, but I want to make it available to them can choose the date range on this, right? Or you can always click no for number limiting number of uh, uh, orders, no for the number of books, and the date range is optional. Just for kicks, let's go ahead and choose this. I'm going to click on generate link. And ta-da, check this out. Now you have a QR code that you can share. Um, you can download it and then include it in any promo materials. Let's pretend that I am going to set up my um, my amazing book launch. And so I want to have on my table a little flyer set up so that somebody, if they want to purchase my book, they can go, you know, scan it, purchase my book directly. Here's another thing. You can copy an HTML embed tag if you want to put this on your website. And here's a, a, a easy peasy place where or you can copy it to your clipboard. You can also email it to yourself this way. And whatever your email and file is, it'll get sent. So um, now that we have that happening, let's take a look. Okay, I already set up a link. This one's inactive because I haven't, it hasn't started yet. <laughs> it's going to start on my start date. So let's look at this active link. We can come over here under, again, e-commerce on the left-hand side, 
and you can view your link history. Let's visit this link. It's going to open a new tab. Look at this. This looks pretty sharp, huh? So with this tab, I decided to just use the full price of $15.99. Um, and if somebody clicks add to the cart, oh, check it out. It says a book brought to you by Kiwi Publishing. So it'll put your imprint name, powered by Ingram Spark. It puts the title of your book, uh, who wrote it, the description, product details, paperback, the size, and it puts the ISBN. Check it out. You can just click on the link here. And now if you click on the upper right-hand corner, oh, wait a minute, you can click on view cart right here. Ha ha, check it out. All right, so let's say we want to do two orders. Now, um, just note that uh, Ingram Spark automatically uh, limits you to 25 per order um, if you don't put your own um, limit on there. And then uh, let's see if we put the info in here and then click. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Check it out. This is what your customers will see. They will see their shipping address. Now, one thing I want to share with you is there are shipping methods, right? So, you know, if you are, let's say you're using Amazon, um, if you're a prime shopper, maybe your readers are able to get your book at um, no additional shipping charge or there's a reduced fee, something like that. This is something to keep in mind if you're using this option, because here there's four different options, but warning, basic is non-trackable and non-insurable. Hmm. So that is good to know. And it's also, I'm going to call it the wild card because we don't know how long it's going to take. I've had people who've ordered it and it only took like two weeks. I've had other people who ordered it and it took like more like four to six weeks. So I almost always recommend choosing standard ground, but look at that price, right? That's going to add, if we're looking over here, that's going to add $10 to the order. So that's something to keep in mind. You can also, if you absolutely positively have it, have it there in two or one day, you have those options, but that's kind of expensive. So that would be in a very emergency case. So anyway, once um, the person uh, selects that, they can uh, they have to agree to the privacy policy, and then they can potentially opt in for um uh, promotional emails as well. Then from there, they go to the payment and they go ahead and make the payment choices. So I want to share with you um, a little bit about what the pros and cons are, right? So the pros for this are, you can set your own price, right? If we come over to the links, we can come in and we can uh, oh, wait a minute. Ba -doo. If we come over here and edit, uh -huh, then we can come over here. So say I'm like, well, you know, this is, I want to make sure that the compensation, um, you know, I get compensated for this, but I know that the shipping cost is going to be expensive. So let's make this um, a special offer of $6. So ooh, I'm only going to make 46 cents per book. But if it's a special promotion, I might want to do that, but then know that they're still going to have to pay potentially maybe $10 per book in shipping costs. So you can set your own price for your book. That's a pro. But then the con is you also have sh shipping options, which are set, and you have to choose those. Another pro is you can choose a specific number of books. You can choose to limit the number of books that someone purchases, and you can have a certain date range. That's pretty cool. You have control over that. Another nice thing is the books can't be returned. Another con to let you know about is, unfortunately, you can't trace the sales by the individual with this. So say you are setting up a link and um, uh, you've had um, uh, people who've purchased your book Unfortunately, and I'm coming over here to the frequently asked questions, um, due to privacy reg regulations, they can't share with you who purchased it. But here's another pro. Remember how you were able to name the link that you chose? Like for instance, this one is book signing April 6th. <laughs> you know, anybody with whom you shared that link are the people 
people who are purchasing your book. So you do sort of have some visibility as far as you know, the people who you shared that link with are able to purchase your book. Wow, I didn't say that very well, but you know that that group of people purchased your book. So anyway, um, that's it. I think it's pretty darn cool to have this option. Um, I hope it works out for you. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at kwe at kwepub.com or uh, go to our website, kwepub.com. And remember, you have this new control that you can use. So let us know how you select to use it. All right, thanks, bye.